Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This time we're turning boring iron weight plates into 1980s inspired ultimate weight plates. Why ultimate? Because my color palette was inspired by my favorite 80s and 90s wrestler, the Ultimate Warrior. Of course, you can use whatever colors you want. That's the beauty of DIY projects. DIY Caveman has made quite a few videos exploring color options. My favorite of his is his zombie color palette. Okay, let's get into it. First step is to prepare the weights for paint. If they're dirty, you'll need to clean them. If they're rusty, you'll need to clean off the rust. There are several ways to do it. You can use a wire brush head and a drill or angle grinder. You can soak the plates in vinegar. I've even used rust removers like CLR and EvaporRust. They're expensive, but they work extremely well. Either way, the end result should be a clean weight plate. You'll want the best surface for the paint to adhere to. Before adding colors, you want to apply a coat of primer. If you don't have primer, I'd suggest a coat of white paint. It'll help make the other colors really pop. After that dries, you can start spraying on your colors. I do pink, and then blue, yellow, and then green. Allow those to properly dry and then go grab some dish soap. Any dish soap will do. Drizzle the dish soap over the top. This works as a mask. I try to move quickly back and forth and then with a slight angle, but the pattern and speed are entirely up to you. You can immediately apply a coat of black spray paint over the top. Give that some time to dry, and when they're ready, use a hose to spray off the dish soap. You'll want to gently dry off the plates. I use a paper towel and I pat them dry. You can do whatever you want on the backside. I did black to keep it simple. Another option is to reverse the colors on the back. When all the paint colors are dry, I go over everything with a clear coat. Then hit the lettering with a silver leafing pen. Before jumping into this project, you should know that spray paint has a tendency to chip. This paint job won't last forever. You can try adding ceramic coating for added durability. The end result is some sick plates that everybody will be jealous of. Now before I go, I know some people are wondering if doing all this changes the weight of the plate. When this was a rusty 45 pound plate, it weighed 44 pounds 5.6 ounces. After removing the rust, it weighed 44 pounds 2.5 ounces. Yep, we lost 3.1 ounces of rust. After adding paint, it is 44 pounds 4.7 ounces. We gained 2.2 ounces of paint for a total difference of nine ounces. It would definitely be possible to add enough paint to get it back up to the weight where we started. And if you're really a stickler about it, you can add enough paint to get it exactly at 45. I'm not super worried about that. If I want exact plates, I'll go buy calibrated plates. That's it, bro. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be back next week with some sick ass Peace.